Welcome to the What's Our Verdict podcast. We fashion ourselves cinematic judge and jury. My name is JJ Crowder. I'm here with my co hosts, Matt and Heiner. Better red than dead. Javier Ortiz. What is up, my nerds? And Ian Anderson. Some shit. <laughs> Fucking hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I sounded normal, right? Uh, yeah. Just a mouthful of food as you're opening That your little, like, six year old smirk on your face. <laughs> Yeah, and we're not stopping. We appreciate you going on the podcast. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification button so you can follow all of our spoiler freeze and Javier's eating habits. Go check out our website, what's our com, where you can sign up for our newsletter to get exclusive content and updates, pick up some merch, and interact with us. The question we always ask if you ever find yourself wondering if you should spend the time, money, or both on a movie. To help with that question, each we can put a movie on trial, discuss the facts, pass judgment, and let you know our verdict. Today, we're reviewing Death on the Nile. It was released February 11th, 2022. It was written by Michael Green, based on the novel by Agatha Christie. It was directed by Kenneth Branagh. It stars Kenneth Branagh, Gal Gadot, Army Hammer, Tom Bateman, Annette Benning, Rose Leslie, Ali Fazel, Don French, Russell Brand, Letitia Wright, Sophie Okonedo, Jennifer Saunders, and Emma McKay. Jesus, there's a lot of people in this movie. While on vacation on the Nile, Hercule Poirot must investigate the murder of a young heiress. This is our spoiler-free review, where we rate this movie on a three-tiered scale. Worth it, meaning you should watch this movie as soon as possible. Stream it, meaning wait until you can watch it for free. Finally, not impressed, meaning you shouldn't watch this movie at all. You can listen to our deep dive review on Death on the Nile on Monday, February 21st. All right, so let's jump in spoiler-free. Um, I was excited for this movie because I really enjoyed the f- version of, that they did of the first of this series, I guess, even though neither of them are the first in the, the series of books, but um, I enjoyed the murder on the Orient express. I liked this one better. If I'm being honest, like I enjoyed this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it was heavy. The acting to me was better. There was really good acting in the, in the murder on the Orient express, but I think they really stepped it up in this one. There's only a couple of people that I was like, eh, whereas there's probably half the cast in the original that I was like, eh, but Kenneth Branagh, as always, steals the show. That dude is just, he's so good in this part. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was fun. I mean, it, I think it would be even more fun if I hadn't read the books. But I've always enjoyed Poirot and because I, I like mysteries. Like, I enjoy those kind of novels and, and reading that stuff. So I read these a long time ago. So I knew kind of what was going to happen and where it was going to go, but they made some changes. I thought, but other than that, I mean, I really thought it was really good. So I had, I had a lot of fun with this movie and I'm going to give it a worth it. Um, I, yeah, I would go out and watch it. I thought this was a very enjoyable movie. It's funny. There's a couple of things that are really stupid. Like some of the changes I was like, Oh my God. Um, which we'll talk about in the deep oh, like dive. The cinematography. Is that what you're talking no, about? No. Oh. Like, yeah, I can't say otherwise it's because it's a big spoiler, but there's uh especially at the end, there's a moment at the end where I was like, that's not gonna happen that way, but <laughs> and it doesn't in the book. So um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, like I can get over all of those just because of I was thoroughly entertained during this movie and I just enjoyed it and I thought it was fun to watch. So worth it for me. Javier. Um So I actually liked it less than Murder on the Orient Express. And I'm going to say something even more controversial. Mm -hmm. I thought Gal Gadot detracted from this movie. And that's the first time I've thought that about her, where uh, I didn't think she added to the movie very well at all. I don't think she was a good casting decision. Um, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. But... um, other than that, it was it was awesome. It was a good old murder mystery, and I love a good murder mystery. I haven't read, uh, I haven't read that book, mm. uh, so I don't, I don't have anything to compare it to. But the acting was fun. I thought the twists and turns were fun, you know. Because which, by the way, Ian, I called it from the beginning. Who did it? So, <laughs> but he did half halfway through that movie. I was like, nah, can't be them. <laughs> uh anyway it was fun twists and turns um yeah i think i'm gonna give it a worth it too because i think it was just fun it was a fun murder mystery 
Um, and and for a sequel, like a second movie in the series, it was not bad. Like I expected it to be worse, to be honest. Cool. All right, Ian. So this was a good movie. Like it was well acted. Uh, um, Storyline was good. But I'll be honest, like murder mysteries are just not my thing. Um, I kind of get a little impatient where I'm like, all right, let's see who did it already. Like, <laughs> stop teasing me. I've been teased enough. Like, let's let's get to the ending on this hey, thing. And then when you get to the ending, play, it's just get right into it. Right. Make it make it happen, Captain. Um, <laughs> I yeah, it was good. I'm gonna say stream it, and that's more like me personally. I'm not a big fan of those movies, but it it was a good movie. Like it was really well done, acted well. They showed you like enough of what you needed to see without going into too much that would give everything away, kind of a thing. Um, I think they planted the like details of how it's put together very well, so you remember them um, and kind of like had visual cues. So yeah, I uh, definitely go see it. Um, I don't know if. I'd go to the theater to do this again, but um, yeah, stream it. All right. Madsen, bring us home on the spoiler free. Yeah. When you're comparing this to, I mean, think about Murder in the Orient Express, like, and where this movie sits as a technical sequel. I mean, it's a great movie. Um, it has, I mean, Kenneth Branagh, like, we've already all said it, but just the dude was like born to play this role. Um, he's just, he's witty. He's a little bit funnier in this movie. Like he makes fun of himself, which I quite like. Um, I, I enjoyed that. And the music in this movie, I really think was inserted well um, at certain parts of the story. Great cast overall. Um, I think a, a intriguing story overall. And to me, albeit a little bit predictable. Um, I mean, Javier kind of called it at the beginning then wavered, but it's okay. Uh, Murder Mister is going to be like that. So in short, I think it's, worth it while i don't necessarily think it it's something you have to see in the big screen like it's not like the visuals are needed there and that's the one thing i want to call like there's some cgi in this movie that was just horrible uh, like it's so bad but um it's worth and it because it's a good screens. yeah like yeah, bad green screens yeah really bad bad green screens uh but that it doesn't take away from the movie and that's not what this movie's about but if you're if you like murder mysteries you like the first Murder in the Orient Express, you're going to like this movie. So to me, it's worth it. Uh, if you want to see it in theaters, great. But if you need to wait till it's not in theaters and stream it, do that. But it's worth watching, absolutely. Cool. Yeah, it was a fun one. Yeah, the, the, they spent a lot of money on that cast. So Ugh. the effects kind of took a, <laughs> a little hit on that. You could just <laughs> tell like it was so... I and I saw it in an IMAX theater just because that's the time I could see it. So it was probably even more. It it was just so noticeable that it didn't feel right. Well, they kept yeah. trying to do close-ups on their faces to like try to minimize that, but that somehow made it worse. Yeah, yeah, the, it was tough because like the first one. So with Murder on the Orient Express, they did a lot of like the big scene at the end in the tunnel thing. Like they did that on a location or on a set that they built. So they did a lot of practical effects in the first one uh, based on building sets on a, but they couldn't do that in this one because it was filmed a lot during the, near the end of the pandemic under the big rules of all that. So they had to do a lot of green screen is what I was reading. Cause it was, it was very prevalent. So I think that was one of the things that it did suffer from is the timing of when it was filmed and, or finishing filming so they had to put a pause well, on it and then come back to it. Yeah, like it would have been a little bit better, I'm sure. Then, yeah. Damn pandemic. I know. Well, that's one of the things. Like Kenneth Branagh doesn't like doing like special effects in that. He likes more of a practical effect kind of thing when he directs. And so that's that was one of the things that really got in his way was the pandemic, though. Unfortunately. So, but yeah, fun movie. Go check it out. Um, yeah, it was fun. Matson, tell everybody where they can find us, man. Yeah, check us out on whatverdict.com to see our upcoming slate of movies. Also, predominantly Facebook and Instagram for the same thing. Come chime in, leave us a comment, let us know what you liked about our reviews and didn't, what movies you're looking forward to. And uh, we always appreciate you chiming in. So, on to the next one. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, check us out. We appreciate it. As always, we appreciate you tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye now. Cinemagic out.